offensive line's been missing guys, Shannon obviously down for now. It seems like you guys are pretty thin up there. Yeah, but like I said, I mean, I've said this week to week, people get hurt. Honestly, I'm, I'm more confident than ever when you put guys like Omar in, TJ in, Corey in. Um, I'm confident they can go out and play just as well. Um, so, you know, I'm excited for this week, and I'm praying that Shannon gets better. And with guys being in and out, how big, I mean, have Darren and the linebacker core been just kind of, I mean, obviously help getting you guys set, but just kind of calming the defense, I guess. Yeah, I, I think this is, with our defense, if you set the foundation right and you coach your players and you teach everybody the scheme and everybody knows what they're doing, it doesn't matter who's in, right? It, it, right, you have your playmakers, but at, at some point it's got to be X's and O's and everybody has to know the foundation of it. Um, and I think that's really what we've been able to accomplish. I don't think we've had our starting 11 since the first game. Um, I think after after the first game, we probably had people out. So we haven't had our starting eleven all year. We've doing we've been doing really good. Obviously, we're not where we want to be, um, but people have filled in, and that's the great thing about this defense. That's the great thing about this coaching staff. They've coached everybody from the top to the bottom, and they can if, if they're on the field, like Herm says all the time, you're a starter. Um, and I got confidence in anybody else going in there. On the, on the play that Tyler scooped the fumble, mm -hmm. you kind of blew that up from the get go. Uh, can you just kind of describe what? what you did there on that play? Yeah, um, it was like a, I believe it was a zero coverage blitz. Um, and I honestly knew the play and I was trying to be smarter, like smart, smart. And so I didn't really have to work too hard. And uh, I guess we all just kind of cheated and squeezed down because it it, we just shot our gaps. But I honestly knew the play and he was under center. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to try to beat this guy. And I, I remember I had my hand on his hip and then I saw the ball and I just see Tyler running down the field. And the first thing that dawned on me, and everybody was making fun of like Merlin and stuff, the first thing that dawned on me was block the running back because of BYU. So that was the first thing I did. If you, if you, go, watch, if you go back and watch that play, you'll see me coming behind Tyler, pushing the running back into the O-line. That was the one thing I was scared of. I was like, this is not gonna turn into Provo again. So yeah, trust me, Merlin wasn't the only one who had PTSD, but. <laughs> Real quick, but. DJ Davidson's over there in case. Similarly, on, on Merlin's interception return, did you see him kind of head check? Backwards? Oh, yeah, 100%. Trust me, everybody's got flashbacks, but it's did, all did good. Did you make fun of him on the side? Oh, yeah, we all did. We all started laughing in film, but it, it's all good. It's all in good fun. He scored, so you know what? We're happy. The defensive line hasn't had a sack in, four, I guess, four games now. Are you guys getting enough pressure? on the quarterback to please you guys? I mean, I know sacks, the number isn't a big thing. But yeah, I think um, going back and looking at the film, um, Joe, uh, guys like Joe Moore, Stanley, the pressure was there. We did really, we, we did a good job. We just have to finish our rushes. And it was unfortunate. They didn't call mine a sack, I guess, because he fumbled the ball. Um, that was a little weird, but unfortunately that wasn't a sack. Um, and then BJ obviously missed the last one um, there at the end. So we just have to finish. That's really all it is. I think we're getting the pressure. I think it's there, or I know it's there. Um, it's just finishing. Uh, and I think that's really what we got to focus on this week, next week, and then later on. And when you look at Oregon State's offense, I mean, what challenges? I mean, they've kind of been Stop the steady. run. Stop the run, 100%. That's going to be the key for this whole week. Um, they have an extremely high-powered offense with three very good running backs and a fast offensive line. Um, last, uh, the Herm put the numbers up. We ran for almost 400 yards last year. They ran for almost 300. The year before that, it was 250 and 300. The year before that, it was over 250. We have to stop the run, 100%. Who, and whoever's going to win this game is the person who has the most rushing yards. I 100% believe that. Um, they have a quarterback that can run and three running backs that are super big and super talented. Um, so... If we can stop the run, I think we'll be good. Obviously, you know, Baylor has been super productive, mm -hmm. but you mentioned the depth as well. What yeah. are some of the challenging dynamics that he presents and just overall that backfield? What is it that makes them so tough to stop? I, I think they're big backs, but to his credit, I, he does a phenomenal job. Um, it's their offensive line. I, I'll be, I'll be, and I'm not being biased just because I'm a defensive lineman. Go watch their offensive line. They are phenomenal. They, they, they really are. They, they're really fast. They might not be the biggest guys on the field. They're fast. They, they combo really well. They double team really well. And they get guys out of their, out of their gaps. And they, you know, they make Baylor look really good. And I'm not. Then that's nothing discrediting Baylor. But their offensive line is really good. And so I think this week is going to be our technique versus theirs. And whoever's going to win is going to have the better technique. And I firmly believe that we have the better technique. What has Darian meant to this defense? Darian Butler? Oh, he's the juice. I mean, I, I don't know if you've seen that kid light somebody up on the field, but it, like, like you sit there and it gives you chills. Like, I, I've never seen anybody hit as hard as that kid. Get up and do it the next one. 
like that he he's absolutely different um you know and that's not discrediting anybody else on our defense but he brings it every single day and honestly it you know it surprises me that he has he hasn't had more like concussions like it really does surprise me because uh, he hits hard he, and uh you know that and that's one of the things like even ap had talked about a long time ago if you watch on him the the amount of space that he can close in the matter of a split second is absolutely amazing. Um, and he doesn't miss very many tackles. So I, I just think he, he he's definitely one to keep keep the heartbeat going. He's he's always one that um, go hit somebody and he's willing to throw his body around for any of us. So what would a collision between face hatch and Darian look like? Probably a couple broken face masks for sure. Because <laughs> I don't think any either of them would it would, would hold up. Like, I really think that they would both go full force at each other and I mean, we're on the same team, so I don't want to see that. <laughs> but, but no, it's a. Uh, both of those guys are really hard hitters, for sure. And, and coaches always talk about obviously doing your job, but when you have guys like that behind you, I mean, Gary Merle and Kyle. Yeah. It, it's not about taking a chance of getting out of getting out of your position, but I mean, how relaxed you can is you that can mean? afford to take a couple shots here and there, and it's all within the scheme too, right? And, and it's. And like I said, you know, when you do have guys like Kyle and Darian and Merlin, and, and, like behind you, you know, it, you you can af sometimes afford to take shots. But there's other times when you take those same shots and they gash you. They really do. And you really do have to be technical, technically sound. But with when you have guys that can make plays like they do, you can af sometimes you can afford to take those shots. Um, and sometimes you know you can't. But you just got you got to know the defense. You got to know what you can and can't get away with. So. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.